Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com and the next video in a series on trading Forex using the MetaTrader platform by Sean Overton. In the last video in this series, Sean gave us a great overview of some of the warning signs to watch out for when looking for an expert advisor. In today's video, we're going to continue our MetaTrader discussion with a look at backtesting. So let's get started. Hi, this is Sean Overton with OneStepRemove.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the MetaTrader backtester and how you can use it. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to go into my usual caveat of backtesting doesn't tell you the whole story. All it does is tell you how your strategy may have performed on historical data, but whether you actually get executed at those prices, it assumes that all the data is accurate and that those historical market conditions will replicate themselves in the future. Basically, just because your back test shows that you made money, don't get too excited because it may not happen in the future. So now that that's out of the way, we can actually get into the process of back testing. If you have MetaTrader open, I want you to go to the top left corner, click View, and then Strategy Tester. You'll see a window appear at the bottom of the screen. It goes the whole way across, and it's called Tester. Click on the Settings tab in the bottom left corner, and this is where you select all the different options. To start, we're, we're going to choose the Expert Advisor, and since every version of MetaTrader has this copy, we're going to go with the MACD sample. That's what we'll test today. Below that, you'll see the symbol, so in this case, Euro Dollar is selected, and we'll just leave it blank. Then you see the model. There are three different options, but there's no reason to select anything except every tick. The reason is, if you're running a test, you want it to be as accurately reflective of reality as possible. So, and since every, every tick is the most accurate version, I suggest you use that every time. Use date, if you check it, you can select the time window, otherwise MetaTrader is going to choose it automatically for you. And then visual mode, if you select it, you'll see a chart pop onto the screen, and it'll simulate like it's trading in real time. So if you have any uh, fancy features like drawing objects on the chart or putting comments on the chart, you can see those as the EA quote-unquote executes in real time. Over to the right here, you select the period. So I, in this case, I've gone with H1. Below that, you see optimization. So if you have a couple of variables that you want MetaTrader to find the best outcome over that time period for, put a check next to optimization, and it'll run the test. Just so you know, if you do optimize it, it's going to take uh, a, well substantially longer than it otherwise would have. So if you want a quick answer, leave that blank. In the top right corner, you'll see the Expert Properties button. It starts out with the testing tab. This is where you can control the basics like your deposit and whether to go long or short. If you are optimizing, you tell it what it's optimizing for, so balance, profit factor, etc. And you'll notice that genetic algorithm is checked. That means that if the, the optimizer detects that it's going through options that are le likely to be profitable, then it stops checking for them. So instead of running 100 possible tests, it might be able to cut it down to 40 or 50. Click on the next tab, which is called Inputs. This is where you control the features that are unique to that EA. So you'll notice that the take profit starts out at 50. Well, it, let's say I wanted to change it to 70. If I did that and just left it alone, that's what it would test for. If I happened to check the optimizing feature, then the next three columns are relevant. So value is what's applied every time the EA runs on a back test and then start, step, step, and stop only run when you're optimizing. Let's say that I decide that 50 might be a good value, but I want to test all different options between 20 and 70. So I put 20 for the start. I tell it to check every 10 pips and then stop at 70. That means that the optimizer is going to test all take profits from 10 to 70. 10, 20, 30, or I'm sorry, from 20 to 70 checking every 10 pips. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 is what it'll test. If you leave zeros in there, then it's not going to test it. To get started, push OK, then push Start. In the next video, we're going to discuss actually reading the reports, but you can, figure, you can just do a brief summary now by clicking on the Graph tab where you see the graph, or by clicking on the report where you see the report. If you have any questions, you can go to www.onesteprove.com or email info at onesteprove.com. My name is Sean Overton. Thank you for listening.